Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. I'm John Skinner and this will be the first of what will be a weekly series of video fishing tips that I'll be doing for the Fisherman Magazine. I'll be covering a variety of species from surf, kayak, and boat. And if you're not familiar with my work, I've written several fishing books and I'm probably best known for my heavily viewed YouTube channel. I don't like doing this part of the video any more than you like watching it, so let's hit the water. In this video tip, I'm going to focus on respecting very shallow water. Um, I've recently moved, so I'm fishing a lot of new waters. I've never walked out on this point before. Um, my preconceived notion is that dead ahead there's a channel, and that's what I was interested in. But as I'm walking out, I'm looking at that water to my left, and it's just, you can barely see it there. There's a, maybe an eight foot wide little depression. It's about three feet deep. Beyond that is only about, uh, it's definitely less than a foot of water. So I'm going out, I'm inspecting the end of this point, looking around. That has still just caught my eye on the left there, and I'm going to flip into about a foot of water, just get that bucktail moving, let it drop <laughs> into that little channel, and there's a fish. And, you know, I'm not worrying about size here. This is late April. This is just the very beginning of the season. I'm out on the North Fork. The waters are cold. I'm just looking for fish, oh especially God. since I'm in a new area. That reaction there is that not only do I have a fish on, there were five fish following that. So that little depression, maybe three feet deep, had at least six fish there because I got to see that many at the same time. Uh, you know, it would be very easy just to walk right past that and never make a cast into it. And I apologize for the background noise of the gravel as I walked out, but that's almost to make a point. Look at that stuff. As I'm walking on it, it's making a lot of noise. I do not want to go walking out into the water and transmit all that sound across those shallows. I'm intentionally stopping on, on land, not going into the water. One of the keys here is that this is a falling tide. Look at those flats. Those were all covered with water. You can imagine these fish were distributed across a lot of, of territory. As that tide dropped, they're going to settle into these channels and, and end up in these little cuts and that's something to look for not only for stripers but for fluke and other game fish as well look at that guy's got at least one fish following as well and bucktail is an excellent rule for this kind of fishing because you can control the depth very well by keeping the retrieve speed fast i was able to keep the jig up high when i hit the depression i just dropped off on the speed a little it dropped it right in there and the fish were waiting so this was a daytime scouting trip, just looking for life. I went back the next morning in the dark, and here was the result. I hooked a quality fish, and I tried to hold it back from that channel marker to straighten the hook. But that's okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, I found some quality fish. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this, and remember to keep a close eye on the shallows. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition. The Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.